Hello, hello. My name is Lampu Intervide. Today, I'm gonna talk about the water bottles production. <laughs> so, in this video presentation, I'm gonna talk about three main topics, which are the first one, the introduction, the <clears throat> second one is the processing and the last one is the conclusion so let me ask you about something that did you have you ever noticed the bottle the different applications for example like the bottle for shampoo and the bottle for water drinking and the bottle and the other bottles they are, have different kind of texture as well as the the um, function they would say so do you think like they will like carry in the same manufacturer or not what do you think so yeah let let me um, explain you about that in this video so let me start with the introduction the water bottles are broadly sorry are mostly made from polyethylene telectally I mean like the water, the, the drinking water. But actually there are some um, other polymers can be like also used to produce the bottles like for example polyethylene. Um, they want that uh, the bottle for like reusable items that we all always see people use for their like jogging exercise something like that that one it's used for it's used it's made from polyethylene <clears throat> and yep so as we all know like water bottles is the container for containing water or liquid inside yep so let me go next to the processing the processing for production the bottles um named as bro molding um, the bro molding is the process for forming and joining um, plastic parts together and it's mainly used for uh, produce bottles and other hollow shape like plastic cups something like that and in general there are three main types of the bro molding which are extrusion bro molding um, injection promoting and the injection stretch promoting the extrusion promoting it's um produce it's used to produce the uh, bottles like shampoo or sunlight something like that is it supply i am not sure oh sorry <coughs> which uh, the texture is kind of like tough um, the more tough nets and the thick nets of the wall is uh, a little bit thick I would say and we, and we cannot see inside the bottle that what, what is inside that, that one and for the injection promoting uh, it's used to product the bottle like uh, as I say the bottle 
for reusable item that um, people use for their workout, their jogging, something like that. And the last one, injection stretch promoting. It's used for mainly used for water bottle. <coughs> yes. <coughs> because the thickness um, of the water drinking bottle is kind of like very thin so it need um, more stretch uh, more stress I would say and uh, basically this uh, processing combined between injection and promoting together yep so let's see the uh, step of processing <coughs> now, um, actually um, it will have some uh, I mean like the extrument from injection or the part of mel melting polymer resin <coughs> and then it's gonna extrude the polymer mail in terms of the tube and uh, go to this, this this part the P form or P heat the tube and then after that it uh, move to inside the mold yeah it's the body of the mold which is the um, design of water bottles I will say and then the more cross up and the stretch plot stretch the tube which is the quite short yeah right and then it stretch more and uh, go along with the length of the size of the bottles and then the air blow in and expand the tube to touch with the more surface and <coughs> And then, um, yeah, uh, after the hair uh, fit very well with the uh, more shape like this, and then the more um, start to cool it. After the more cool down, I mean, like the product cool down, and then the more is open like this, and then we got the final product here. So I have some video, I mean like this video to show you that get kind of idea what I'm saying about. Um, um yeah. Not this one is this the it <laughs> yep and yeah stretch promoting you see yeah it's the mel molten part the melting polymer go to the P form shape and then go to the mold and stretch lot stretch the apple fit with the more and it cool down we got the product yep. so come to the conclusion the water bottles are produced from PT or polyethylene telephthalate in the processing core injection stretch bowl molding so the final product that we got is the um, clear clear and very thin thickness of the wall surface and of course it's kind of like have lightness in the with it's um, small I would say and since it's the thermoplastic it also can be recycled and the, um, this this uh, 
processing, I would say it needs less concentration of raw material to produce one product. Um, if you compare to the extrusion, raw molding that one gonna like, um, since the wall is quite thick, the stretch is not um, the air. The air is not like bold that much. We need higher concentration to produce one product. So this this kind of idea is can like let's let's cut. I would say like this one. Okay. So that's it. Um, uh, here is the con um, the reframe, and that that's all for my um person here. So if you have any question or any comments, suggestions, um, you can leave the message below. <coughs> message below, and I will like go read and yeah, I try to answer you as much as I can and um, I hope this um, video can uh, like help you to understand more about the processing especially the water water production and yep thank 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 you for your attention and watching today yep Th thank you bye bye um see you in the next video if i have a chance to do though <laughs> um how, how, how to stop sharing <laughs>